Hello everyone, I'm Nini FC, this is Blue Lines TV. Welcome to the match preview of our upcoming game tomorrow against Liverpool in the Carabao Cup. You guys know I do things, I like to talk about the press conference, I like to give my thoughts and opinions on a predicted lineup. I like to talk about the opposition and I like to talk about how we can beat them as well. But you guys, before I get straight into things, smash that like, help me get more than 500 likes for today's video. And press the bell notification button as well to stay tuned to all things Blue Lions TV. Now, starting with the press review, and Zola actually took over today. And, you know, he spoke about some interesting things. Number one, he did confirm that Ruben, Rudiger, and Poch are out of the game. He said that when it comes to Ruben, though, he is taking his injections. There's a possibility that he could play, but it's not looking very likely. He did confirm that Hazard will be part of the squad for tomorrow. He spoke about hudson Adoy and Ampadu potentially being in contention for the game tomorrow. And Zola was actually going into detail a bit. He said with hudson Adoy that of course, you know, the same old stuff you always hear, you know, these guys are the future. He's the future, he's gonna play a part. Zola did mention that because hudson Adoy did start over Victor Moses against Man City in that Community Shield game, that proves to you that Chelsea do actually consider his future and they really want him to make it here but at the same time when I was hearing that it felt like that was directed more to hudson Adoy than it was to the press and to us so could things potentially be happening behind the scenes who knows as I keep stressing hudson Adoy hasn't signed a new contract just yet so maybe Chelsea are getting a bit scared and they want this guy to commit his future to the club Jurgen Klopp said some interesting things though he said that of course Minile will be starting the game when it comes to Van Dijk's touch and go, but there's a possibility that he will be playing against us tomorrow. And that's pretty much it. Still though, you know, when it does come to Ruben getting another injury, it is pretty frustrating. Originally, I kept thinking that maybe he keeps getting these injuries all the time because he's not really playing as much. So whenever he's actually playing in these games, he is more susceptible to getting knocks and injuries. Think of it like this. Ruben actually hasn't played as much football as he would have hoped to at this stage in time. And I think that maybe that's playing a part. Maybe his body isn't fully adjusted to high-end football just yet because he barely does play. Again, that's just my theory. There's no concrete proof behind this, but you guys give me your thoughts and opinions on the matter. Now, moving on to the predicted lineup part, you guys can see a few changes here. Of course, I've gone for Zappa, Costa and Christensen. Rudiger is out the game. I do think that Jorginho is going to continue to play in the game. I think that, uh, you know, Chelsea... When it comes to our high pressing style, it really does start with Jorginho. He really dictates the team. He tells the team what to do. We can't lose that voice in midfield. I see Alonso playing for some reason when it comes to Emerson. I don't know if maybe the manager doesn't rate him or maybe it's taking longer for Emerson to get used to things. It is quite weird though because during pre-season, I actually thought that Emerson was pretty good. Now I've gone for Barkley, of course, Kovacic. I think he is going to be rested. Kante always play, so I still see him playing. And I see Hazard, Giroud and William playing in this game as well. I think that Chelsea can't afford to lose against Liverpool. And I see the coaches thinking, you know what? I see Sarri thinking like this, you know, if it's the 60th or 70th minute, that's when I make substitutions for that game on Saturday. And I think there's a possibility that hudson Adoy and Ampadu could actually get game time tomorrow. And I think as well that Cess will probably start on the bench. But I think that as the game goes on, he's going to play a part and he's going to replace Jorginho so he can be rested for that game on Saturday. But you guys, in the comment section below, what team do you think we're going to use? Do you think that there's going to be more rotation in the team? I'm not really expecting there to be too much rotation, especially based on the things that Sari has said in the past. But let me read your thoughts and opinions below. Now, moving on to Liverpool. And what kind of threat are they going to pose against us? I think that when it comes to this game tomorrow, it's really going to be a test of each team's squad depth. That doesn't mean that Liverpool are going to field a very weak team, of course not. But I think that some key players will be subbed off earlier. And I do think there's going to be some small rotation in each team. For example, Fabinho can make his full debut tomorrow. Shakiri can play more. Kalina and Marino can play as fullbacks in this game as well. And I'm not going to be surprised to see Daniel Sturridge up front. Of course, we know Liverpool's threat, but they did something pretty interesting against Southampton. Now, against Southampton, they did start the game using a 4-2-3-1. Shaqiri was playing in the hole. Firmino was out wide on the left. 
Mane was on the right hand side and Salah played up front. And I think the reason why Klopp did this was because he wanted to use the pace of Salah to make runs in behind. You know, Salah likes to drift to the right hand side. And Klopp's probably thinking, you know what, against Southampton, they're going to defend very deep. If I can have Salah making those vertical runs, hopefully he's going to create space between the lines for guys like Shakiri, Firmino and Mane to operate in. And that's one thing that Liverpool are very, very good and dangerous at doing playing those vertical passes in behind for guys like Salah and Mane to run onto. And this is why they're one of the most dangerous teams in the world on the counter attack. And that's down to how the front players do operate, the runs they make in the channels, the passes that get played very quickly and precisely to them in behind. And it's the way in which they press as well. But I think Liverpool's approach is going to be a bit more counter-attacking against us. I don't necessarily think that they care about, you know, keeping possession against us. All they care about, I think personally, is that they're going to target that left-hand side. They're going to have players making runs down the side to, you know, cause a lot of issues because that left-hand side is a bit slow. It's not the strongest defensively. And of course, when you are focusing your attacks down that side, that stops Alonso from pushing forward. And of course that affects what Eden Hazard can do. And it affects how we do control the ball midfield. And against teams like Man City and Spurs, Liverpool actually played a bit more counter attacking. Now that doesn't mean that they're parking the bus in their own half. It means that they're using these, you know, low to medium defensive blocks. So they can keep their shape in midfield. They can make it hard to play through. And then they hope to use the pace of their front players to make runs in behind to start the counter-attacks. But Liverpool will still be pressing at times. I think they're going to try and make it difficult for us to play out from the back. Now, if Firmino was playing, it would be different. With Sturridge up front, can he sustain that pressing style throughout a game? I'm not too sure, but at the same time, Sturridge has been really good this season. I think it's going to be on Saturday is when we see Liverpool really trying to stop us playing out from the back when they are using their full strength team. But for tomorrow, I see them playing a bit more counter-attacking and looking to damage us out wide on the right and using their quick vertical passes to really try and counter-attack against us quickly. Now, how can we beat Liverpool tomorrow? Well, what's key for us is that our midfield does get on the ball and they do dictate and dominate proceedings. I think that there is going to be space between the lines for guys like Hazard, Barkley, Williams to operate in, but it's going to depend on if we can get Alonso higher up the pitch. Because you guys know, we like to focus a lot of our attacks down that left-hand side. But I think that Sai will have plans for the counter-attack. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Kante dropping deeper at times where it's almost as if we're using a 4-2-3-1 because that way Kante can help be another option in helping us play out from the back as well as helping us defend on the counter-attack. And this way he can help apply pressure on guys like Henderson to stop him from playing those vertical passes. And it really comes down to just how effective our pressing is going to be because if we press very high, if we keep winning back possession, that means that we all have spaces between the lines to play in and we see how dangerous Hazard is. And this is where I feel that Giroud is going to be playing over Morata because against West Ham, they did park the bus and it made it very hard for Giroud because, you know, he had about two players on him at all times. Liverpool won't be as defensive as that. And I think that Giroud's ability to hold up the ball and play people in and provide the option for layoff passes as well is going to be key for guys like Hazard, Barkley and Willian. And certain times if we do find it hard to play out from the back, we can just play vertical passes straight to Giroud and hopefully he should be able to hold up the ball. At the same time, this game isn't going to be easy as that. It's going to come down to players applying themselves well, playing with confidence and playing to their abilities. There's a lot of top talent in each team's team. But you guys, the score prediction I have gone for is 2-1 to Chelsea. I see us getting the win, but I think the real test is going to be on Saturday. Still, you guys, it is going to be a very interesting game. I'm really hoping that we are going to beat Liverpool because the Carabao Cup is going to be important for those squad players. You know, I want the youth players to get more of a chance. I think realistically, their best opportunity to get game time is going to be in this tournament. And I think too that, you know, if we do have this tournament as well, that's going to help relieve pressure off Sari. I don't think the club are necessarily expecting him to win anything this season. But I think that if he does win a Carabao Cup, it's only going to add to the confidence that the club do have in him. And I think too, you know, there's so many benefits. Number one, the squad players are happier. There are so many benefits because it does give an opportunity to the squad players to get game time to show what they can do. And by doing that, that does mean that we can rest our first team players for much more difficult games. I can't expect us to play much more difficult teams than Liverpool in the Carabao Cup. So it's going to be interesting to see what does happen. You guys, that's going to end today's video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Help me get more than 500 likes for today's video. And let me read your thoughts and opinions below. 
You guys, I'm the NEFC. This is Blue Lion CV. Signing out.